Well, my one complaint about the uh, the subscribe to all button being on the loading screen's gone. So, <laughs> what am I going to complain about next day? Eh? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z, where today we are playing Siam. I don't know if you know, but uh, I'm running a little series on this channel right now called Hoi 4 A to Z. Play every single starting nation from A to Z. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what this career profile thing is, um, but apparently... I'm not very good. Alright, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you have to play Siam in Hearts of Iron 4. What should you do, you may ask? Well, have you considered therapy? Alright, I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing today as Siam, but I sure as hell am about to find out. Oh my, what a surprise. We start with a boat, but looking at the rest of my army, I'm surprised it doesn't start with a mast. Alright, once again, we're playing with the Minor Nations Reborn, so we actually have a focus tree. Vanilla Siam does not have a focus tree. And historically speaking, Siam did get up to something in the war. Uh, not exactly on the right side, though. Uh, I guess uh, we'll, we'll build a road. <laughs> right, economically speaking, I don't think we're in a terrible position, especially with this mod. Just don't take this one military factory with no steel for, just for anything, okay? We're gonna be a prosperous nation. Now, because we do enter this war on the side of the Japanese, I am gonna go ahead and uh, switch things up a little bit. Although the Drip King himself, Freya Sorry, any people from Thailand, <laughs> but I don't know how to say Pahon. <laughs> I probably should be- is this a guy a war criminal? Okay, I guess Hirohito was a count as a war criminal, so this guy probably should be counted as a war criminal too, right? <laughs> that's uh, that's one hell of a focus. <laughs> Not too sure how much liberty we really had beforehand, but uh, Definitely don't have a lot now. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna offend anyone by trying to pronounce this one. That is a uh, pretty cool little elephant though. Ain't that a pretty cool little elephant? Now, Saudi Arabia, we did go ahead and build tanks, but I just don't think there's gonna be the supply over here for us to do something like that. So we're gonna have to rely on infantry. Although before we can even talk about our armed forces, probably should build an economy. Oh, well, there goes our future allies' war against China. I would get involved right now, but I'm just not ready. Although I will be taking the precaution of joining the faction immediately. I haven't even checked what exactly is my units. Okay, not bad actually. 18 with already. We can work with this one. Hopefully we didn't just pick one of those games where the Japanese AI absolutely gets stumped by China. Right, it looks like Hirohito is doing a decent enough push. Looks like we won't be facing any war crimes charges this time around. <laughs> Although you never did anyway. It looks like Japan's not faring too well in their advance, so we're gonna have to send in the special forces. Emphasis on the special part of that. All right, I can only see this going well, right? World War II has kicked off and <laughs> we're about to help take China. Ah, uh, come on. I'm gonna go and force attack that in there. We can do it. Let's go, <laughs> please. Yeah, I think we got this. Easy. All right, now we do have a lot of manpower, but I do want to go ahead and be uh, very careful about this. Our industry is only just picking up, so I don't want to just blow our load right now when we are literally going to be surrounded by enemies. I had no idea that Great Chinese Wall was so south in the country. Oh, never mind. Looks like it collapsed. Oh, never mind. I just found that wall again. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. It looks like we have furthered our Japanese allies' advance there by taking some pressure off, and uh, I guess we're gonna keep pushing ourselves. Oh, there you go. Guanzi just capitulated all from the might of the Siamese Empire. And Japan. Japan was there too. Uh, and I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, Japan. Uh, I will be expecting some compensation from this. Have I ever mentioned how bad the supply is in China? Oh, there we go. Finally. And, uh, I think, you know, uh... Siam did a lot of good work in that war. Uh, a lot of good work. A lot of good work. I think we can all agree. There we go. That is more than fair for what I did for Japan. And uh, speaking of which, Japan is currently at war with the Allies, and I need to re-gear for that one. All right, the war in Europe is looking exactly the same as it's looked for the past few games. Uh, still no Allied D-Day, though, and considering we're going to go to war with the Allies, I really hope they don't just turbocharge Germany. Please. 
don't die of starvation on the Eastern Front. Right, Japan. Not too sure how this is gonna go, but I guess we will find out. There we go. Looks like this was no problem whatsoever, mostly because of my Mountaineers, which are my actual good infantry, and I spat them out green. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Singapore is ours. And with it comes a juicy amount of resources. Next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and encircle these units here by taking these few provinces and getting all of these guys stuck. You want swift blow and we've got them encircled. Nice! Japan could deal with Hong Kong itself, but apparently not, so I'll do it myself. All right, now it's time for the real supply crisis, I imagine. All right, we've pushed pretty far, got ourselves a little taste of India. I'm just gonna make sure that my supply is caught up completely before I get any further, though. Or else I might be getting a bit too historical here. All right, Indian Front is looking very open right now. They are still holding the river line up here in the mountains, which uh, I'm just gonna pretend don't exist. I can't see the river line mountains. <laughs> they can't hurt me. There you go. <laughs> don't have to worry about the river line mountains anymore. Fly, my pretties, fly! They, uh, I think they lost their entire army up there and all the other encirclements we did. So this is a free India. I mean, I, not free India. Um, it's under new management, India. And I am not even going to ask. <laughs> How did this happen? All right, there we go. India taken care of and just look at our beautiful empire. Oh, it looks like the Romanian uh, chicken leg has kind of fixed itself, but I am a bit worried about what's going on over here. Uh, as such, I think we may have to make a push through Iran, but before we need to do that, I need to actually make sure if I try to push into Iran, I'll have supply. Oh my, <laughs> they managed to do it. How did you land with a heavy tank? Uh, probably down to the fact that there was one guy defending Hawaii. I just realized our economy is actually pretty damn poggerino. Uh, we do have some pretty bad resistance problems though. Uh, they're pretty bad. I don't think you guys got this angry when the British were occupying you, eh? Is it too late? to say sorry. Uh, concerning America's in the war, I want to go ahead and say no, but we'll try and help by invading Iran. That's right, when war causes problems, try to fix it with more war. Pretty sure it was definitely in Sun Tzu's little book. I get to see we're already dying of attrition. Uh, supplies not doing that bad, unless you're, um, you're in the north and you resorted to eating each other. Oh, uh, Iraq just went ahead and joined the Axis, but, um, not too sure how you manage that one. I'm trying to hold this together, but Iraq definitely changed those plans. Thankfully, the Japanese arrived and they are also pushing them back, but Europe is not looking good. Shall we just uh, all agree that this was a bit silly and go back home and go back to how it was before? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> all I'm saying, all right, Germany, is that Siam is doing better than you ever could. And I don't even have a stupid little mustache. Uh, I do have a very cool looking empire though. And a man with some glasses. Uh, as much as I would like to keep pushing, I kind of want uh, Iraq to capitulate so uh, I don't have to deal with their land on my border. So, <laughs> anyone want to sell me some aluminum? I guess nobody's going to sell me some. Thank you, Manchuria. I really need this. Yeah, I was going to come in at the final moment and maybe help out, but, uh, don't think that's going to happen. Oh, um, uh, this game just turned into a survival horror. Oh, <laughs> guess I'm going to the Hague anyway, so might as well keep going. Oh, my God, there's just so many allied troops. I, I cannot keep up with supply. It's not going great. Oh, yeah. There goes my hero. Oh, God. I... Oh, no. Yep. And uh, the horde has arrived on the front line. It's just, uh, it's just looking a little bit spicy out there, I suppose. Right, hear me out. It was all just a prank, bro. Huh. Uh. That might change things. Oh, uh. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that is gonna change things. Oh, good news is so far, Japan's actually still being calm, but... 
God damn it! How have you lost Iwo Jima, but you've taken Hawaii? Come on, Japan! Guys, I think we can pull this back, all right? All we need to do is capitulate all of the allies, the Germans, the UK, France, um, the, the probably Russia in a minute. And then we need to take out the US, which again, I think it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh God, I'm about to have to hold an entirely different front. Really? Could <laughs> you not just do something, Russia? Oh my God, just look at the international coalition over here. This is a little bit worrisome. Uh, Japanese don't care though. <laughs> they just go in and go get them. Uh, finally, uh, kicking the British out of Ceylon. Took me a little while. Mostly because I never had naval soprano. Oh, sorry. Did I say blah, 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 blah? I actually meant naval soprano. Uh, can you tell my brain is slowly deteriorating? It's 1946, all right? I need out of this game. Oh, looks like the Russians are still holding now. At least they've come to a point where they're holding. Um, but that also could mean nothing at all. And they might just declare war on me any minute because they have a war goal. And I can see it happening. Late game, Hoi 4 troop counts are just shumming hell, aren't they? 1947. Can't get any further than this, eh? Alright, uh, we're stable enough. Uh, the Allies can't push us. Japan is safe and secure. I could probably keep going, <laughs> but at what cost? There's a British artillery gun just hanging out in Istanbul. <laughs> Anyone gonna <laughs> do anything about that? Yeah, um, I would keep going, but I've been at this game now for hours, and uh, I don't want to. But nonetheless, the Great Siamese Empire, a subsidiary of Japan Incorporated, has done quite a bit. Uh, I would uh, trash the Japanese AI for their loss of Iwo Jima, but they've actually been somewhat competent today in this game, and not letting me die <laughs> in the Middle East. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it here for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe button down below for more Hoyt of Forehead to Z content. Oh, I need to burn my eyeballs out. <laughs>